I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? Aren't you just tired? Everybody's just tired. One of my favorite political thinkers says he has to shut down these holidays because he's so tired. Three years of this constant barrage of political news. He's so tired. Everybody's tired over the holidays. What is this all about? It's, 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 it's like the border kids being ripped away or then they're getting killed in our incarceration where, where we're responsible. Oh, but it's the Democrats' fault because, you know, they're willing to pay for a, a wall for Barack Obama's home, but they won't pay for a wall for the entire country. Or maybe it's Syria, or maybe it's Afghanistan, or maybe it's some sort of new influenza strain, or maybe it's trademarks, or maybe it's, it's, it's influence peddling. It's, 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 it's Jared, you know, and, and he, he bribed, the, or he got bribed by the Saudis to, to buy, or the Qataris to, to pay for his building. It's, it's always something, 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 something. something. What is this? Donald J. Trump, right? Inducing a perpetual state of crisis in our lives. If you were to look at the national anxiety on a meter, what would you see? That. Just out of curiosity, do you remember the halcyon days of Barack Obama? Things seem so much quieter. If we were to look at a national anxiety meter, for Barack Obama during the holidays, what would it look like? Probably that. So what is it? What is this? Is this his dark master plan? Is that what's going on here? As so many pundits say, that he gets together with Steve Bannon. Oh no, he's fired. Did he get together with Rince Priebus? No, he's gone too. Did he get together with Sean Spicer and Kelly Young? No, well, he's gone and she's pretty much silent. What is going on here? He's trying to undermine faith, faith in our own institutions to throw, throw the rule of law overboard by beating us over the head with this perpetual state of a crisis so we all tune out and he steals the government jewels while we're not looking? Mm, maybe? Or is it simpler? Because after all, I think this is a man who, well, shoot, if my daddy gave me $400 million or whatever it was, I think I'd probably use it to like cure AIDS or cure cancer or end war or end poverty. What did he do? Well, he put his name on a building and then another building and another and another and another. I think this is a man who likes to see his name in the headlines every single day. And I think that he knows that if his name is going to be in the lights every single day, he has to be as outrageous as he possibly can. He has to say everything, anything, do anything, say do everything to get his name. He is competing. He's competing with the World Cup. He's competing with trade wars. He's competing with the Chinese. He's competing with everybody, the Democrats, and even the Republicans, to get his name in the lights. And that's what induces this perpetual state of crisis that makes us <sighs> so tired. I think that it's time to resist. I think it's time to not give in and not be fooled by him anymore. In fact, the next time that you find your heart racing because of something that he's done in the press, I want you to create a calming tulip. It's so easy. You can teach your kids how to do it. It's so much fun. You just take out a big fat marker and draw a C and then draw a stylized M on its side, put them together, then add an A and add an L to spell the word calm and just look at it and feel relaxed again. And who knows, maybe you'll get a good night's sleep tonight.